All right, let's bring in Dan Bongino, Fox News contributor, former Secret Service agent, and former NYPD officer. Hey, Dan. Hey, how are hey, you? Dan. Good morning. Good morning. What's your reaction to that? I mean, how is this not infuriating, guys? I mean, how, uh, this is a branch of government. Ted Cruz is a member of, of, of Congress, a member of the United States Senate. Uh, he's a duly elected senator. He represents one of the largest states in the union, Texas. That's he's safe. down there trying to just take on videotape for America to see what's happening at their border. We own this. It's our country. It's not Joe Biden's, okay? It's ours. Are we not entitled to see this? And think of the nonsense from that the press person or whoever she was. She's a government employee, which is scary. Your tax dollars are paying her to block a U.S. senator from seeing what's going on. She says a couple things there with her, which are so absurd, you would think liberals would be losing their minds, too. She says at one point... Um, this is not a zoo. Well, I mean, that's obvious. It's not a zoo. But why are you treating people like animals then? You have them head to toe, stacked in plastic boxes. Yep. You're watching the video now, guys. I can see it on yep. return. And wrapped in literally, not figuratively, wrapped in literal emergency blankets. And you're claiming it's not a zoo. Then again, why are you treating people like animals? This is the great irony of the left. They accuse you of what they do, and then they put themselves on this higher moral arc than you. It's just ridiculous. I mean, this is Pravda stuff here, guys. Seriously. This is like old Soviet Union type stuff. Yeah, I would just think every network should be just as outraged when they offer stock footage or to see one sanitized uh, facility as opposed to those. Chris Wallace did a great job pressing yesterday. The former NYPD cop, I find this unbelievable. New York is ending yeah. qualified immunity for police. Essentially, if, the, if somebody you arrest or detain doesn't like the way you treat them, you could be sued. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, have, a, I have a thought on this. You know, Congress has qualified immunity, too. They can go on That's the right. House floor and say things and can't be prosecuted to spur open debate. I say we take qualified immunity away from them. Then you'd see a Absolutely. real debate about qualified immunity. This is now, devastating. I, I, it is devastating. Having been a police officer, Brian, I have a strong libertarian streak. I am all about accountability for, for police officers. We should have that. And most good police officers support that, too. We already have in New York internal affairs. You have the Civilian Complaint Review Board, where if you walk into precinct and want to file a complaint against a cop and you're turned away, that police officer administrative aid can be fired for turning you away. Now you want to open up police officers who in the course of their duties have to engage in all kinds of behavior normal people don't. Fist fights on a daily basis for people who attack police officers. Now you want to open them up to lawsuits. This reminds me of Thomas Sowell, who always says liberals right. never think of second order effects. And then what? What's going to happen after this? You're going to see a Ferguson effect on steroids, guaranteed. Oh, man, oh, man. Another reason why he moved from New York to Florida. Dan Bongino, thank you very much for joining us live. Thanks, guys. Good talking to you.